welcome to <coughs> ram standard tutorials in this video tutorial we will see the output of the activity life cycle in the previous video we discussed how activity life cycle works and the methods of the activity life cycle so in the previous video in this uh, activity we have overrided all the methods of the activity life cycle from the activity class and uh, we are unable to execute in the previous part so in this part we are executing it and we are observing how these methods are executing so let me run the application and uh, let me open the log cat and we will see that output so now we will see application opened the activity is also created and it is in the foreground so now we will see here so this is the application activity life cycle and you will see first here on a create method executed this is the previous uh, things so again we can uh, check it again we can reopen the application and we can see the logs clearly so that's why previous logs I have cleared and uh, opening the same application now you will see on create on start on resume after executing these three methods on create on start on resume then only activity comes to the foreground that means on create method is creating activity start method is starting the activity and on resume method after executing on resume method then only we can able to interact with the activity now I'm hitting the home button and if you observe here after hitting the home button two methods were executed that is on pause and on stop so on pause is going to pass the user interface and on stop method is going to hit uh, keep this activity in the background in this case if you hit the home button same thing will happen or otherwise from one activity if you are calling another activity suppose uh, activity 1 is calling the activity 2 so activity 1 goes to the background at that time also for activity 1 on pause on stop methods will execute and for activity 2 again the uh, on create on start on resume methods will execute now again I am opening the same activity it was in the background so from the background it is coming to the foreground again if you observe on restart method and on start method on resume methods were executed so then again the activity is in the foreground now finally if you hit the back button so in any current activity if you hit the back button it's going to execute the three methods that is on pause on stop and on destroy so whenever you are developing applications based on the requirements you may override one of these methods suppose whenever you are closing the activity at that time if you want to perform some action you may override the on destroy method so like that again from the activity from the background it is coming to the foreground at that time if you want to perform any certain operation you can override the on restart method so that every android developer should have the knowledge in the activity life cycle without having knowledge in activity life cycle any developer cannot make a good Android application why because the navigations forward and backward navigations we have a problem if you are not having the activity life cycle so get uh, it's a very better uh, it's a good thing to get a knowledge in the activity life cycle so you can watch this previous part and this part and you can go to my blog and you can go to the developer.android.com there you will get a good amount of theory part about the activity life cycle thank you for watching this video tutorial if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel below and you can get more code from my blog called ramsandredforall.blogspot.in thank you once again